thoughts on that and how in the next few weeks you can try and perhaps redress that balance and help develop it? Um, well, yeah, the first day on the climbs, it was nervous and a big fight into the base of the climb, so I was already pretty much full gas before we got to the climb. But the day after that, I thought I was climbing pretty well. I mean, I wasn't with the nine best, but uh, in the group I was in, had guys like, uh, you know, Scarponi, Levi, Basso. I mean, those are some pretty good climbers. Um, and, you know, me being in that group, it was also a benefit for Cadell because if because the cars were had a barrage, and um, so if something happened to him up there, I was there only at 30 seconds back to where he could have limited the damage if something bad happened. Um, over the next few days, I, I think, uh, you know, my legs have, you know, you saw the stage seven wasn't that good, stage eight was better, stage nine, was, I thought pretty good. I think. And it's only going to get better from here. My first Tour de France last year was, uh, I learned that it was something I can handle and it's something I can do and it's not something that I should be intimidated from. And then, um, I mean, I, I can't really say I'm expected to win the Tour. I mean, I hope someday that, um, that I can, but that's some lofty expectations. And um, I mean, I think, you know, this year and next year, I'm still going to be learning under Cadell, and then the year after, um, maybe I can go for a GC myself, and it might be even another year before that before I can reach for the podium or the win. With Cadell, I've I've learned a lot. You know how to handle the flat stages. You know with uh, with the way he works with his with his trusted classics guys like like George and Shar and Boogie and. Uh, Quinziato, like the way they the way they function together on the flat stages to stay out of trouble and to make sure that Cadell's out of the wind and it's you know it's pretty impressive to see and to and to watch and be a part of and also reconning the time trial it was um, the attention that he paid to detail he had a radio in uh, that he could talk to John in the car with and he. Through every corner, he was he was giving John notes, saying like, "Okay, this corner I can take 70 percent. This corner I can take this." And I've I'd, I'd never seen anyone do that before. And then John was writing it all down, and then like set it back into Cadell's ear before everything. Else. So he knew exactly what to do. So it's that kind of attention to detail um, that I think is what sets Cadell aside from other people, and that's something I've taken away from him. Yeah, I mean, with the pressure, like Cadell. You never see it. It's um, every time. I mean, if he has a good day, he's happy on the table. But if it's a day that, like, maybe we were like, "Ooh, I wonder how Cadell's going to act today." Like, it's always the same. He's just a uh, he's just a happy guy, and he it's, he seems to deal with things really well. And once the race is over, like when we're on the dinner table, there's never any sort of tension. It's always just jokes and laughing. <laughs>